let's look at some examples of liquids here i have oil ketchup soap milk yogurt chocolate honey and water we are going to learn about the different properties of liquids you can see that liquids don't have a shape of their own liquids are flowing they take the shape of the container they are put in ketchup is a thick liquid which is dense and it is not very very flowy but it is a liquid here i have different bottles of different shapes and sizes that have colored water in them you can see that the liquid has taken the shape of the container a similar example is of these jugs that are of different capacity i'm now going to look at the containers one by one and read their capacity this jug has a complete capacity of 1 liter which is equal to 1000 ml this container is 500 ml which is half of 1000 ml half of this big jug this container is marked at intervals of 5 so this is 5 10 15 20 25 ml this container has a complete capacity of 250 ml and it's marked at intervals of 50 ml this container starts from a marking of 10 goes on to 20 30 40 and 50 ml Now we are going to do a color mixing activities with the primary colors yellow, red and blue. The first color is going to be orange. I'm going to use yellow and red to make orange. To make green, I'm going to use yellow and blue. It's always advisable to put the darker color later. So first we start with yellow. I'll first pour red to make purple and then add blue to it. Add blue in small quantities to make sure you get the right shade of purple. We get brown by mixing orange and green. So first we need to make orange. Now I'll add blue to get brown. To make black, we basically mix all the colors together. I will now do a floating and sinking activity with different types of materials. I have different objects that are made of glass, cloth, wood, metal, plastic and paper. I am putting a marble made of glass into the bowl and you can see that it has sunk. It has gone at the bottom. The next object is a fork which is made of steel. You can see that this too has sunk. Now I am putting another fork which is made of plastic. You can observe that it is not going at the bottom, it's floating at the surface. I am now going to put a coin, it's a metal coin, so it sinks. 
The next object is a rubber band, which is made of rubber. It floats at the top. And next, I'm going to put a piece of cloth, which too floats at the top. Now I'm going to put a plastic ball, ping pong ball, which floats and a metal ring, which is a key ring, which you can see sinks. At first, a paper boat may float, but later if the paper absorbs water, it might make the boat sink. Here are all the objects that sink in water.